Yeah, guys, of course, we wanted to talk to the person who started it all. But when we reached out to Ed Spivey, he told us that he was battling Parkinson's disease and he didn't want to appear on camera. So, of course, we respected his wish, but he did speak to us on audio. Take a listen. When we talked with Ed Spivey, we talked about things a long time ago, 1971 to be exact. That summer, Ed drove up to Rabin County, where a new business had moved into town. These are the men who decided not to play golf that weekend. Film production for the movie Deliverance, starring Burt Reynolds. He was writing for a brand new magazine he just started called Georgia Trend. Part of our charge is to bring in tourism. And I saw how similar tourism and filmmaking were. Instead of seeing movie stars, he saw people renting hotel rooms, caterers, rental cars. When he got back to Atlanta, he headed straight for Governor Carter's office. Governor Carter said, let's go and get more of this business. Uh, you, you go do it. And oh, did they get some of that business. By 1982, Spivey had brought 187 movies to Georgia, leaving an estimated half billion dollars in our state. And they did it all without tax credits. Spivey would visit with hotels, caterers, lumber yards, banks, all to help lower the filmmakers' costs in exchange for filming in Georgia. Governor Carter would fly out and pick up the stars, even host dinners at the governor's mansion. What was your best sales pitch, if you will, to convince them to come? Um, what worked? I'm Jimmy Carter. I'm your governor. I'll help you find locations, et cetera. Carter loved the film industry, and he was gearing up for his run, and uh, they liked him. Governor Carter and Spivey visited Los Angeles, New York making friends with producers, studio heads, and production companies. They got the business, and Carter gained important allies for his presidential run. And it made sense. You can criticize him for it, but it, it worked, and he made it work. But they had one ace up their sleeve that could never have imagined, Burt Reynolds. Well, Ed, Ed Spivey was really the, the driving force behind it. The A scene also spoke with Burt Reynolds shortly before he passed away last summer. Reynolds was the most successful movie star of the 70s, and he had Georgia on his mind. This is one of the best places I've ever shot, and I, I've told everybody that I know that, and uh, I, I, I feel responsible for, for four or five pictures being shot here that I wasn't even in. Well, why did he like you so much? I'm a nice guy. No, but why were you, you were a nice guy? <laughs> I think that uh, he felt like we did everything we could to make his films and all films uh, make money. I don't think that anybody in 1970 Georgia thought that Hollywood stars would come calling. <laughs> it's just one dummy. And that one dummy would take the helm of the Georgia Film Commission in the early 2000s, this time with tax credits up its sleeve. And despite a lot of opposition, it was actually Spivey's idea to have the Georgia Peach roll at the end of movie credits. Back to you.